We are back on this election night with more results, including the race to represent you in the U.S. House. In District 21, Lois Frankel wins re-election. The veteran Democrat in Congressional District 21 and the former Palm Beach mayor, a 59 to 39 margin as all the numbers come rolling in over Laura Luma. WPTV News Channel 5's Tanya Rogers covering the incumbent Lois Frankel. Tanya? Well, Congressman Frankel, she claimed that victory earlier tonight during her virtual watch party with many of her supporters virtually standing by her side. Now, tonight, as she was having that virtual watch party, several of her supporters were telling her that it appeared that she was the clear winner, but she said she wanted to wait until all the votes were counted. Her mother, during that time, looked at the television, pointed to the television, and said, Lois, I see that you have 64% of the votes. Frankel later told us she's thankful for winning another term. I'm very grateful to people who put me back into office. You know, we live in very unprecedented times, and there's a lot of work to be done. And I'm, I feel optimistic that uh, after this election, we can get both parties together and really move forward, get relief back to so many people who are suffering through this pandemic. Now, Frankel said right now she is concentrating on the presidential election, and she said she looks forward to getting back to work for the people. Reporting live, Tanya Rogers, WPTV News Channel 5. News Channel 5's Ryan Hughes live now with reaction from Laura Loomer, who has been outspoken mm -hmm. and fought hard against Frankel. Ryan? And Kelly, good evening. Laura Loomer admitting defeat tonight, but she says she put up a big fight and that she outperformed Congresswoman Lois Frankel when it came to early voting and in-person voting today on Election Day. But she says she lost this race because of those mail-in ballots, and she blamed that on the coronavirus. Now, Loomer calls herself the most banned woman in the country, and she's been kicked off almost every social media platform, including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, PayPal, for making controversial comments over the years. She's a newcomer to politics, but says this district is winnable for a Republican. Loomer was also trying to make history tonight. If she would have won, she would have been the youngest woman elected to U.S. Congress, but she fell short. So what is next for Laura Loomer? Surely all of the, uh, the infrastructure is there, and uh, you can see that I have incredible support here in the district, and a lot of Democrats turned out to vote for me and a lot of independents. So, like I said, this is a winnable race, so maybe I will run again. Maybe I will. And Laura Loomer says it was an honor to have the vote of President Donald Trump. Mar-a-Lago is in the district. She also says she plans to make an announcement in the coming weeks about what the future holds for her. We're live tonight in West Palm Beach, WPTV, News Channel 5.